Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Decree 19 of 2020. The decree ratified the Joint Customs Cooperation Agreement between Bahrain's Customs Affairs and the Saudi Customs for the mutual recognition of each other's approved authorized economic operator. The agreement was signed between the two sides in Riyadh on December 30, 2019. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa ratified and issued Law 10 of 2020 on amending some provisions of Law 27 of 2014 of the Lease Law. Under the law, a new item was added to Article 4 as follows. The purpose for which the lease property is used must be specified in the contract. Three items were also added to Article 6 as follows. It is not permissible to register lease contracts that do not specify the purpose for which the lease property is used. It is not permissible to register a lease contract of any property that is not located in a residential real estate devoted to family housing only after the approval of the municipality or the comp competent entity in accordance with the regulations determined by the decision after the approval of the minister in charge of the municipal affairs. Electricity and water services shall not be delivered to the real estate tenant only after submitting a registered properly contract in accordance with the provisions of this law and the decision issued in implementation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a phone call with the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The two leaders exchanged greetings on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan, wishing the two brotherly people and countries, the Arab and Islamic nations, for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held telephone calls with His Majesty King Abdullah II of Jordan and His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq Al Saud of Oman. Ramadan greetings and wishes for happy returns for the kingdom. Oman, Jordan, and the Arab and Islamic nations were exchanged during the call. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, held a telephone call with the Kuwait Crown Prince, His Highness Sheikh Nawaf Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, and congratulations were exchanged on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan. They wished the two countries and their people many happy returns. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Fazia Zainal, chaired the weekly session yesterday where she extended congratulations on the advent of the holy month of Ramadan to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, wishing them the Arab and Islamic nations many happy returns. The Council then approved the Annual Financial and Administrative Report for the year 2017 to 2018 and 2018 to 2019. The President of the Supreme Council of Health and Head of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, inspected a comprehensive treatment unit at the International Hospital of Bahrain, which will be dedicated for treating cases of coronavirus. Dedicating the treatment unit for coronavirus cases is a part of the comprehensive process to establish quarantines and treatment centers, which is being carried out along with intensified and random testing by the Ministry of Health across the Kingdom. The Lieutenant General expressed thanks and appreciation for the continued support of His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. He affirmed that Bahrain will do everything possible to contain the outbreak through making all equipment, facilities, and qualified human resources available for the task. He said that the inclusion of the hospital to the health system is in line with the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to combat the outbreak. The Lieutenant General was then briefed about the treatment unit and how it will be in integrated with the rest of the system that the Ministry of Health oversees. He said that the unit has been contracted in record time and it is now equipped in accordance with the highest possible standards. He expressed appreciation for all efforts as led by His Royal Highness the Pr Crown Prince, which have contributed to this process and praised the Fien Nakhir campaign, which has been launched in accordance with the directives of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, National Security Advisor and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah also appreciated the efforts of various establishments and distinguished individuals for contributing to fighting the outbreak of the virus to safeguard the health of safety of citizens and residents. Under the patronage of the President of the Supreme Council of Health and Head of the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the Kingdom of Bahrain will host an international COVID-19 webinar on 25th of April 2020 between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. 
The webinar will, will come leading global experts and consultants in the health field and will focus on exchanging successful protocols and strategies being used in combating the spread of COVID-19 across the globe. The webinar will also provide a platform to discuss various challenges faced by health professionals, laboratory investigative techniques, effective treatment and management options, as well as ICU intervention. Webinar speakers include Lieutenant Colonel Professor Manaf al Gahtani from the Kingdom of Bahrain, as well as regional and international speakers from Kuwait and the United Kingdom. Registration for the webinar will be through the Supreme Council of Health website. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali Rumehi, chaired the second online meeting of the Board of Trustees of Bahrain Institute for Political Development. The board praised the success of the political awareness program, which witnessed the participation of 892 people, praising all efforts to ensure this success. The meeting also included discussions of programs that were implemented lately in addition to awareness releases made by the institute. The board then discussed a number of upcoming programs and activities, including holding eight lectures in Ramadan that focus on practical and awareness activities that aim to enhance political and democratic awareness among citizens, which goes in line with the reform project of His Majesty the King. The board also praised the contributions and cooperation of national bodies in enhancing the democratic awareness of the national cadres, in which it supports the democratic march of the Kingdom of Bahrain.